Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query and Power Pivot. In this video, I'd like to show you how uh, using the two uh, add-ins available for Excel 2010 and higher versions, you can actually facilitate many-to-many -many relationships. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what my data looks like. I have a two-column data set over here wherein I have in, first in the first table a list of customers wherein every customer uh, repeats over here and what color does every customer like. In a table to the right hand side, I have yet another table wherein I have the different colors, what products are each of these colors associated with and what's the price of each of these colors. So the way to interpret this, this table, these two tables would be that if I'm, the st if I'm a store manager and um, these are the various colors that I stock with myself, I anticipate that each of these customers will actually walk in and buy these colors from me. And I also have a master table wherein I have which which different products is every color associated with and what's the price point over here. So the question here is that I'd like to know what would my potential revenue be if every customer was to buy one unit of every color of every particular product listed over here. Now, I've been able to resolve this problem via two methods. One is a formula-based solution. The other is the one using Power Query and Power Pivot. So the formula-based solution on the next worksheet is as follows. In column A, I've listed down all my unique customers and for every customer, I've written a formula which essentially hunts down each of these customers over here in the first column of the first table over here. So let's take an example of Alice. It'll actually see that Alice is uh, mentioned in A6 to A9. You'll see what's the corresponding color for Alice um, and then search for each of these three colors in column E over here. Wherever found, it'll actually go and sum the price column from there. So uh, as you can see, the formula is a fairly intimidating one using combination of sum if, indirect, lookup, match, address, and the sum product function. This works absolutely well in terms of if I were to actually total up uh, the result which I get from the, fo from the formulas written above, this result over here tallies with an independent formula which I've written over here. Now, I could have also simplified this calculation by using an ancillary column over here and, uh, you know, somehow just doing a multiplication. That too would have worked. My intention was to show you as show you just another method to solve it with the help of formulas without using any spare column or spare row. So this is one way to do it. Now, what I really want to discuss with you over here is how to solve this using the power pivot. Now, at the outset itself, we'll, we'll face a problem when uh, solving this problem with the help of a power pivot simply because um, a power pivot, um, the power pivot tool mandates that to connect any two databases, you must uh, first establish a relationship. And for establishing a relationship, you have to ensure that the table that you're connecting to, which is this one over here, should have, uh, should have unique entries in that column. Now, the only column or the only field which I can use for connecting these two tables is the color column here with the column over here. Now, if I try to establish a relationship from this to this table over here, you'll see I will not be able to do so because this column does not have unique entries. And so is the case vice versa. I can't establish a relationship from this to this either because I do not have unique entries over here. So my way to solve this problem is to use a combination of power query and power pivot. So via power query, what I've first been able to do is I've been able to, you may say, explode this table into as many rows as there are products associated with each specific color. So let me just illustrate this to you before I go on to the power pivot bit, which is which will be the last leg of solving this problem. So here's what I did. I selected the data set over here. I converted this into a table. And let's give this a name called customer color. And let's call this product price okay i selected this i went to power query what uh, i said come uh, sorry excel data from table and once the power query, power query window opens up i need to process nothing over here at all i go to close and load close and load to only create a connection so far click on load on the right hand side pane you'll see the customer color table has been loaded into power query and the load has been disabled. I likewise select this. I go to power query from table, close and load, close and load to, I once again create only a connection 
and load. So the second one gets loaded over here as well. Now what I'll do is I'll merge the two tables. So here's what my intention is. I go to Power Query and the combine, I click on merge. Here in I select customer color, I select product price and I select the column over here, select the one over here. The selection has matched eight out of the first eight rows. When I now click on OK, uh, in a new column over there, what all do I what all do I want to see? I want to see the product color. I do not want because it's already here. I want the price. So if I now click on OK, you'll um, get to see the explosion has already happened, and it'll be all the more clear once I actually show this to you on the worksheet. So before doing so, let me just rename these columns. Let's just call this product here and let's call this price over here and let's call this final table now for now what i'll do is i'll actually load this to the worksheet by default a new worksheet gets created but to be able to do um, to be able to somehow verify these results i'll simply cut the table from here take it to my base data and paste it over here. Now let's just see what's happened for a while. Jim likes color blue. Color blue has two products associated with it, one and six. So what's happened over here is for Jim, for blue, you can see two rows have been created, one for product one, the other for product six with the different prices of 741 and 956, 741, 956. Let's just look at another one. Let's look at Pat and Green. So for Pat and Green, once again, Green has two uh, products associated with it. Product 4 over here and Product 9 over here. So Pat Green, Product 4, Product 9 with the price of 969 and 538, which is 969 over here and 538 over here. Right? Now, so once the explosion has happened, I can now write a simple power pivot formula to know what is the total potential sales if each customer was to buy one unit of each product of each uh, particular color. Now, I don't need to actually have the table loaded onto the worksheet over here. This was only to show you what the end result would look like. What I can simply do is I can load this, load the final table directly into the power pivot window. So I right tick here, I go to load to, I say, I uncheck this and say load to data model. I simply go click on OK and it says loading to data model 16 rows have been loaded. Now what I can do is I go to power pivot. I click on manage over there and the, my final table appears over there. Now once again, there's no further processing to be done over here. I simply head on to pivot table, click on pivot table, new worksheet. And um, now under final table, I can go, I can drag my customer over here. And uh, to know what the total uh, potential sales is, I simply need to sum the price column. So I can go here, I can say new calculated field. Let's just potential sales. I want to sum from the final table, the price column. And let's just say I want decimals with thousand separators. Retrieving data cannot add the potential sales of dividend because the formula is invalid. Now, why does this exactly happen? Let's just see. If I go to Power Query, I go to Show Pane over there. There has to be some problem in the final table. If I right click and edit a price, when I select over here, it says the data type is any. Let me change that to decimal number or rather whole number because there are no decimal places over here. I click on Load and Close and Load. Now that I've converted these into numbers from any data type source, the sum should now work. So power pivot and uh, rather than I think that I'd already written the potential sales formula there. When I drag it over here, I get to see my potential sales there. Now quickly comparing this to uh, the formula based solution. So delete that worksheet, don't need it. Uh, I put it right next to the one over here. Alice is 4725, Alice is 4725, Jim is 4487, 4487, and Pat is 3028, 3028.
So essentially, uh, if you want to bypass formulas and do this with the help of um, the BI tools available within Excel, you can use a combination of Power Pivot and Power Query. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you.